What's going on, smart people? Interesting integrals. All right, so we're going to integrate two, I mean, 3x plus 2 dx over the square root of 1 minus x squared. And we're going to do it in a couple of different ways. So basically, the first way you could notice, okay, is just use substitution, okay? But we have to split the integral uh, in two parts. As you can see, we have two, two uh, terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator. So we can split it up in two integrals. So that's going to be equal to integral of 3x over the square root of 1 minus x squared, dx, plus 2 times the integral of dx over square root of 1 minus x squared, dx. Uh, dx. Okay. So once we uh, split it up, it's a lot easier to integrate this, right? So now over here, uh, we can use, use substitution, right? So we can just say let, okay, let uh, mu, okay, let mu equal 1 minus x squared, right? So d mu is going to be negative 2x dx. And for instance, uh, dx is going to be uh, negative 1 half du. So we're going to plug that in there. So we're going to have 3 times integral of uh, negative 1 half du divided by the square root of u, or mu. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not, we don't care about uh, u. We care about mu, OK? So we have. Uh, it's going to be negative 3 halves, right? Integral of uh, 1 over uh, the square root of u is going to be u to the negative 1 half plus 1 is 1 half, right? Divided by a half is basically times 2. So that's going to be times 2. And then mu to the 1 half. And of course, mu is 1 minus the square root of x. I mean, 1 minus x squared. So that's going to get us uh, minus 3 times 1 minus x squared to the 1 half. We solved the first part. Now let's look at the second part over here. We have integral of dx over 1 minus x squared. And this is one of the basic integrals on the calculus textbooks. So it's essentially okay, 2 times sine inverse of x. So the final answer for this integral okay, should be something like this. So integral of 3x plus 2 divided by root 1 minus x squared dx is going to be uh, this, okay, so it's going to be negative 3 times the square root of 1 minus x squared, and then plus 2 sine inverse of x plus c. Don't forget the c. Okay, so we got that. And then there is another method. There is another way of doing that. So let me just go to this side of the board. Uh, we're going to use, okay, a different substitution. So in this case, so we have integral of 3x plus 2. OK, root 1 minus x squared dx. And pay attention to this. This over here could be useful since we have uh, 1 minus something squared. And if you think about that, that kind of reminds you of what? Trigonometric uh, uh, identities, right? So how about we just let x equals to sine of theta, OK? So that means that dx is going to be times the derivative of uh, sine theta, which is going to be cos theta, d theta. OK, so let's plug that in there. That's going to give us uh, integral of 3 times x. Well, x is what in this case? x is sine theta, right? So that's going to be sine theta plus 2 divided by the square root of 1 minus uh, x squared. So that's going to be the square root of 1 minus sine squared theta. And then d theta, dx is going to be cos theta d theta. So we're going to plug that in there. Great. Now, look at this. 1 minus sine squared theta is going to be cosine squared theta. And cosine squared theta, uh, square rooted, is going to be cosine theta, right? So you're going to have cosine theta over cosine theta. And that, bang, cancels out. So all we have to calculate now is going to be integral of 3 sine theta plus 2, d theta. And that's pretty trivial. So we're going to do negative 3 cos theta, OK? plus 2 theta, plus c, of course. And then we can substitute back into theta in terms to, to have our answer in terms of x. We know that theta is going to be sine inverse of x, right? Or arc sine of x. And so we can plug that in here. So that's going to give us negative 3 cosine of sine inverse of x, OK? Plus 2 times sine inverse 
of x plus c, okay? Now, this over here is a pretty interesting result, but we still have to evaluate this. Now, if you think about this, we are trying to find cosine of some angle, right? And we know that sine x, sine inverse of x is going to be theta. So if that is true, we know x equals sine of theta, right? So we can make a right triangle over here, OK? And we can call this angle theta. So we know that x is equal to sine of theta. Sine of theta is basically what? Opposite over a, a hypotenuse, right? So opposite has to be x. And hypotenuse has to be 1. So this is x and this is 1. Using uh, Pythagoras, this over here has to be what? The square root of 1 minus x squared, right? So we're trying to find cosine of sine inverse of x. But sine inverse of x is theta. So we're trying to find cos theta. And cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. That's square root of 1 minus x squared over 1. So we can plug that in there, and we're going to get a negative 3 uh, square root of 1 minus x squared plus 2 sine inverse of x plus c. And that answer is consistent with the other method that we had okay, over here. So what can we get from this? Uh, well, essentially, there are many ways to, to solve a problem okay, in calculus. And uh, you know, it, it depends on what, like, the way you look at it. So just get comfortable with all uh, you know, identities and substitutions so that you could, you, know, you could find different ways to do it. So that's what I, what's uh, recommended. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. So it's Dania. That's Vidania. <laughs> <laughs>